LaSalle with the ball. Karakot. Richie at the corner. And Richie, Richie good start. Good start in the third quarter by the LaSalle Green Archers. A shot and a three-point conversion by Richie Rivero. So making of, it a four-point lead, Anthony. Speaking of Richie, you have to remind our viewers that Richie has three fouls under his name. So that's a cause for concern. It was a highly emotional uh, foul there by Rivero. But I think he settled down already. Okay. Let me see. Oh, a lot of extra motions going on unnoticed by the referees. So, uh, first foul on Leonard Santillan. I, I prefer to call him Leonard. That's his real name. Mokon. Oh, that's a very clear case of traveling. Another traveling in front of Ben and Bala. That's, I think that's the fourth guy who traveled in front of Ben. All right, who's next? Stand in line, guys. Melesho. I believe Melesho has played, uh, you know, a lot of minutes. I, I, I don't even remember him resting. Melesho will fire. No. Bullock. They're behind by four. Extra pass. Too much passing, though. Hesitation move there by the Red Lions. Baseline is open. Another extra pass. And they convert. Good extra pass, pass there by Presbitero. So now the patience of Sanbeda slowly paying off. They're just behind by two. So 9.37, La Salon head. Referee's whistle, he says. Foul by Adamos. So the Bens are uh, guarding each other. Ben on Ben. It's Benedict versus Benoit. Uh, that would have uh, bro that would have taken took the house down. Again, folks, look at this. A lot of uh, second, even third motions happening. Yes, um, the South Green Archers trying to dominate the boards, getting that first offensive, second offensive rebounds. <laughs> They're just not stopping getting those rebounds. Okay, in the finals, you just can't stop. Playing in this in this kind of uh, ball game. Of course, at the line is uh, Leonard Santillan from uh, Cebu. He was the hero in the semifinals. He scored the uh, the winning three-point play. Yes, he's a, a very good, talented player. Good pickup for La Salle and Santillan, two for two, ups their lead back to four, 41-37. Potts. Potts must score now. Yes. Three. I heard that's the first uh, first basket by Potts. Yes, Potts has been silent for too long. Melesho. Bounce pass Embala against Adamos. Adamos. And, and Embala makes midsmeet on the defense of Adamos. Scoring at will underneath. Ben Embala. The question here is who would stop Ben Impala? Well, I guess they could not stop it. They would just contain him. As Sanbeda now again taking too much time to execute. Seven on the shot clock. Do they know it? Potts, bunny hop to the basket. It's good. Once he starts scoring, that's going to continue. Okay, Sanbeda now continue to threaten. They are still behind by one. Wrestling each other is Adamos and Mbala. Where is letting it go though? They're not paying attention. And Adamos picks up the uh, interception. And the referee is letting the boys play. Bullock crossing the half court line. Almost at exactly the uh, 16 second mark. Adamos does the double. Bolik all alone. No. Ow. And that really hurt. For sure. Call number 18, Ben Adamos, his second three on Sanbella. Look at this. Yeah. 
That was a good play there by uh, Devon Potts. That's right, I, I said, this is bunny hop to the basket. Karakot, met by Potts. Mbala at the low blocks. He will Whoa. again. Yeah. Look at the power of Ben Mbala in front of Adamos. That's right, Mbala eating, uh, eating Adamos for his afternoon snack. Potts, Mokon. Okay, Adamos. He does not take advantage of this smaller defender. But they keep it, pass offline. I knew it wouldn't come in w upon release. That was sure. Melesho, oh Melesho. Melesho. You know, Good shot there by Melesho. You know, this kid can find even the smallest space. He knows where to pass. He knows where to, to penetrate. He knows where to attack. That's Melesho for you of the La Salle Green Archers. Adamos will try slug from three, no good. And Not really his shot, Anthony. Look, even the guards of La Sala are getting their fair share of rebounds. Sandy, and Santelian! This is a very good recruit for the La Salle Green Archers. I don't look now, Coach, but this is, yes, believe it or not, this is the biggest lead by either team in this game. Baby, Mokon. Mokon. Showing pockets of resistance. They need more of that. They cannot just trade baskets with Lasal. Ball will stay with the Green Archers. Mono Noa for Ben Adamos. 14 seconds on the shot clock. All right, Santillan. Okay, ball batted out. It will stay with the Green Archers. Eight they have eight seconds, seconds to work to with. Shoot. And by the way, uh, I just took a glance at the LaSalle bench and uh, Prince Rivero is in uniform today. Yes, I, I, I talked uh, a while ago in practice with, uh, with the dad of Prince Rivero. And he said he started practicing uh, yesterday or the other day. But he's not expecting to play. He's just... Uh, he was, he will just suit up for the La Salle Green Archers. Yeah, so perhaps you know, his teammates seeing Prince Revelle in uniform and will be inspired to play. Okay, so it's going to be a baseline and inbound for the green. For and we're, for the first time, Coach uh, Fernandez is inserting Franz Abuda, second generation player, for the son of the great Freddy Abuda. Whoa! Bodies fly over, and Abuda is welcome to the game with a uh, hit to the chest. His first two on the green archers. So uh, Mbala hands Abuda his calling card. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ben. What's yours? Uh, Meet my elbow. Physical game shown here by both teams. Move on. They are behind by five. Bowling. Patience is, the vir is a virtue for San Beda. Bowling again. Pots! No! And good box out. Good positioning for oh, yes. Noah. Noah being at the right place again at the right time. So back to back hits now for San Beda. Yeah, bringing down the, the, the lead to only three points. 49 46. Just a one uh, possession game separating these two prime collegiate squads. Good defense there by Noah against uh, Ben Mbala. Turnover. Ball going to San Beda Red Lions. Okay, now Bullock. We've said his name so many times in this game. Walk on to Potts. Patiently, they move the ball around San Beda. Bullock. Decides to give it to Abuda. Mokon. Mokon frees himself, but again, look at that. And Bala was in front to change the shot. You cannot, you cannot be frustrated right now. 
even if you miss the shot, you just have to play defense. You have to go yeah. back yeah, and play defense. You cannot just go to the referee and ask for a foul. When Soberano is back, they're hoping that Soberano's three-point shooting will click. And they need it badly. Just a three-point game. It's still three minutes, 13 remaining in the third quarter. Okay, Santillan will do the honors. Quality basketball being shown here by both teams. Yes. Embala gets two defenders. And this time, Abuda flips uh, Embala on the shoulder. Of course, it will take more than that to stop Ben Embala. Hey, Mr. Embala, I'm the guy who... <laughs> just, throws, you just gave your card. Yeah, let's exchange calling cards, all right? <laughs> Meet my, uh, my, my, my open palm, of course. Yeah. Of course, knees and elbows are not allowed. Mbala has shot very well from the free throw line. And that's good. Because as you know, coach, with the amount of contact that Ben, that ben Impala gets every game, he definitely has to learn to shoot free throws. You're right, Anthony. Right now, San Beda uh, just uh, made Carino available in changing uh, Abuda. You know, one, one last thing that I noticed about Carino, he has a very unorthodox shot. It's, it's one-handed. Even his three-point shot is one-handed. Bolik. Veteran move there by Bolik. Taking the shot when he heard that whistle. Of course, uh, the coach, this game has also had its fair share of entertaining moments, and this is one of them. Okay, at the line, Robert Bolik. Of course, he is originally from Leyte. He he was recruited by the by this this green team, the South Green Archers. Yes. He played for La Salle for two years. When of course, started in high school at La Salle La Salle Green Hills, yes. Then went to La Salle, transferred to San Beda. The, the rest they say is history. So uh, back to a three-point lead. Six seconds to shoot. Good defense there by the San Beda Red Lions. Yeah, six seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, six on the shot clock for the Green Archers. Six seconds to set it up. Okay, they have to go quickly. Six seconds is very fast. Santillan! No. And who has it? It's with the Red Lions. Mourinho. Getting the rebound. Okay, now Carino will inbound to Bowling. You know, one player we have to see, we have yet to see today for San Bede is Clint Coligues. He has yet to be fielded by Coach Fernandez. So Belano for three. No. Noah. Rebound. Noah. Challenge. Still no go. Embala. Showing his dribbling skills. We will give it to a guard. Belesho. Surveying. Okay, Baltazar pops out. Baltazar. Good oh, defense there by Noah. That fronting was a weak Ben Mbala. That was a weak pass. Carino, yes! Carino, yeah, good no, run there by the transition offense by the San Beda Red Lions, making only a one point ball game. Yes. With still one minute, 42 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Yes, LaSalle led by one at halftime, and they're still ahead by one. Oh, San Beda crowd asking for a traveling. Referee still call. You know, that's what I like. That's what I like about the Filipino basketball fan. They're very intelligent. They know the rules very well. They, they, they know the facets of the game very well. Yes, they're not only fans. They're also referees. <laughs> so at the line, Aljun Melesho. Of course, the uh, crowd, the pros and better crowd, giving the referees a piece of their mind. They are expressing their disgust. I think that was a legitimate uh, thing that uh, 
Sun yes, was asking. Yes, I think they, they uh, Ben a, traveled. They have a, a good cause of action there. So Melesho gives back a two-point lead for uh, LaSalle. He can up it to as much as three with this uh, free throw, and he does. Three-point lead for LaSalle. Moron, Bolik. Bolik, telling Noah to move away. Soberano. And Good call by the referee. Yes. Fourth foul for the LaSalle Green Archers. 14 foul on the Green Archers. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Okay, so LaSalle is one foul away from the penalty. Meanwhile, Sanveda is in the penalty. What a play! But Noah missed the shot. Oh boy. That will really hurt. And you can see it on the combined faces of the Red Lions. Soberano. Mohon. Noah posting asking for it against a smaller Kalakut. Kalina with his one hander, no. Good rebounding and positioning by Karakot. Karakot and the, the shot! Teardrop shot by Karakot, making it a, fi a five point game. Of course, the biggest lead by either side was seven. Melesho! Oh, Melesho! What a block there by Carino! And as my, my, our uh, friend Sandy Hilonimo oh, Bumnibu says, that was a public display of rejection. An intimidation oh, there by Carino. So, uh, coming in for the first time. so uh, coach, I, I guess Coach Over Fernandez heard our earlier conversation. Bullet. He has introduced Lynn Doliguez to the game seconds. for the first time. So, uh, Doliguez now will see action. Yes, Doliguez coming in for San Beda. Baltazar, no. And Potts with the rebound. He gives it to the ball carrier. Pespitero against Melesho. Melesho has had little rest today. Mokon! No! And let's see. Referee says it's gonna be on... Karakot. Karakot. Karakot called for that foul. That's the fourth foul of uh, Karakot. That's big for the Green Archers. Yes. Still full. One quarter remaining. So Jolo Go will come in, replacing the foul beleaguered Joshua Andre Karakot. Doliges makes his first, so he enters the scoring column with a free throw with 2.8 seconds left. So uh, this should give Sanbed a good momentum entering the fourth and final period of regulation. Oh, sorry, miss there. Another block by Ben. So, after three quarters, we have the defending champion, the LaSalle University Green Archers, hanging on to a 55 to 51 lead against the undefeated San Beda College Red Lions. And hello again, basketball fans. You're just in time to join us. And if you're joining us for the first time, what a time it is. This is the start of the deciding fourth and final period of regulation of the championship game of the 11th Bill Oil 5 year Premier Cup. My name, as always, has been Anthony Servino, and I'm with Coach Rick Icachano, calling this game live and direct from the Bill Oil 5 v Center. Hey, it's an offense there for yes. you. Doliguez come, just came in the, the last part of the third quarter with an instant offense. Yes, three quick points for Clint Doliguez. Baltazar. Embala! Look at that spin move by Embala! How strong Ben Embala is. Even if there's somebody in front of him, even if there's a hand, he can just stay and take that shot. You know, that movement by Embala will surely elicit, uh, no, it will surely elicit a, uh, a uh, contact. And uh, we are not surprised that Embala is at the line. It's the 19th point of Ben Embala. 19 points for him in this ball game. Wow. 
And remember, he started the score with a three-point shot. Definitely a double-double for Ben and Ballin. So easy. Oh, that's easy. Sometimes he gets his double-doubles as early as the first half. Whoa! Oh. Look at the Ligues attacking the defense of Ben and Ballin. And as we speak, the league is now with five points in, in less than five minutes of play. Instant offense there for San Beda. Kalinio against Embala. Embala! Wild shot there by Ben. Yes, the long wings. Look at the long wings by Kalinio. Whoa! Oh. Miss! Mokon! Getting that offensive board and a put back. Making it only a two point ball game. Yes, San Beda continuing to uh, breathe down the collective necks of the Green Archers. Richie. Good defense there by Duliges against Rivero. Ben will try from long range, no, but it's cleared by Baltazar. But they cannot control. So after a brief rest on the bench, Robert Bolick is back. And I believe, you know, Bolick will not sit down anymore. He'll stay here until the bitter end. <laughs> All right. Melissa receives. Melissa still. Melissa will fire. No. And look at that Embala from behind. Getting that rebound. But Sandena gets back control. Bullock. Bounce pass. Oh, look at that. Good passing there by the Sandena Red Lions. Yeah, hopefully, Making it a tight ball game. You no, know, hopefully that play will energize the uh, Sandena Red Lions as we are now tied at 59 apiece. Tenth deadlock of the ball game. Baltasar open. Okay, now it's close. Chance for San Beda to grab the lead. The last time San Beda led was way back in the second quarter, 24 to 20. Oh, well, at, the, at, the, at the end of the uh, half, rather, 36 35. Ball is close. It's controlled by LaSalle. Go! Still no go for go. Embala attacking. Traveling by Ben Mbala. Now the referee is calling that. Again, I'll repeat the fact. Look at this. Again, great behind the back pass by Mohon to the trailing Carino. Of course, you always reward your big man for running down the floor. And when all, always when you reward the big man, it's going to play a little more harder. Right, don't feed your big man. For the win! The league A three-point shot and a conversion. Oh, that is eight points yes, in the ball game. Eight points in about what? Five minutes of play. And eight crucial points. Santillan. Ar Archers must not panic. And LaSalle starting to miss. Oh, Pots! Pots! Wow! That's a cue for Coach Ayo to return and ball at the next dead ball. San Beda now is alive. Belesho against Bolik. Good matchup. Melesho. Extra pass, Santillan. No, no, no. It will not count. It will not count. It did not beat the shot clock. 24 seconds violation for the Green Archers. Yes, that's a big 24 seconds violation for LaSalle. Turnover ball going to the, 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 to the Red Lions. Here it is again. Look at this. Slow-mo, high-performance play brought to you by Hayes. And of course, this pass break is brought to you by Black Mamba. Buhay na buhay ka. Black Mamba energy drink with Guarana. Yes. I drink that. Yes. 
Another intimidation play there by Ben Mbala. Mbala! Who would stop Ben Mbala? That's the question here for the Sanbeda Red Lions. But they're still behind by three. 64 to 61. Still five minutes remaining in this basketball game. Okay, ball the finals of the Flying V Summer Cup. The Liga keeps the ball alive. Canedo can hit this. Too strong this time. Whoa, oh. good <laughs> defense there by the Ligas. The effort of the Ligas. Yes, admire Clint Doligas. He's not just scoring, he's doing a lot of everything. I can have this guy in my team anytime. Instant offense for you, instant defense. Well, who knows? Maybe after the NCAA season. What a utility player. Hand off Santillan. It's with Melesio. Three point shot separating these two teams. Mbala inside. Mbala! And because of that, Sanbeda presses the timeout button. 4 and 25 left. They're only ahead by one. And we'll be back after a few reminders. There you have a shot of the uh, Pro Sanbeda Gallery. The alumni in full force today supported the alma mater. As the uh, Red Lions took back to the uh, Phil Oil 5B Center Hardwood. Of course, Anthony Servino here with Coach Vic Icasciano. And of course, that was also a good time but because it allowed us to catch our breaths. So uh, now we'll see as uh, Sanbeda is nursing this one-point lead. And there you see a shot of the De La Salle Animal Squad. Of course, they performed earlier at our halftime break. Bolick, they need to add to this lead. They have to score, no ifs or buts about it. Potts, Mokon, Mokon to Carino with one-hander, and it's good! Good pass there by Mokon to Carino. Carino being open. You know, you can say a lot about... The short corner. You can say a lot about Carino's unorthodox shot, but as long as it goes in, why complain? So big basket by Carino there. Sorry missed there by Ben Mbala. Yes, Potts will hit the three. No. Santillan, he will dunk it. And don't look now. LaSalle is only down by one. 66 to 65. Three minutes, 22 remaining. In this basketball game. Yeah, Santillan knows that that dunk will probably energize his teammates. Bolek! Big Bolek shot by Bolek! Wow, Bolek! Robert! Richie! His teammates are asking for it, but Richie keeps it. Against the defense, Richie goes one and one. Richie! Good shot there by Malen uh, by uh, Rivero. Golik, he will try to chop some time off the clock, make the clock their friend. But I don't think it's too early to do that. Golik taking a sweet time. Golik against Mbala. He hurried that shot. He challenged Ben Mbala there. It's not a very good decision, not a wise move by Bolek. Okay, Rivero being guarded by uh, Doligues. Melesio, Santillan, he had a dunk earlier. But Santillan throws the ball away. Good fronting defense there by San Beda. And the timeout call being called by Coach Adinayo. All right, the, the Green Archers need to talk things over. And we'll be back and after a few reminders. Two minute warning. It's time to get a drink of cold water. Bring out your maintenance medicine. Do everything. I mean, this will be a carjack finish. I can guarantee that. 
There's the last two minutes. Oh! They save it. An errant pass. Telegraph by Carajot. Carajot! No! Santillan! Yes! Another big basket by Santillan. And Santillan has tied it at 69 all. That's the 11th deadlock of the ball game. Oh, bad pass. No, no, no. Uh, coming back in and totally pressed Bad pass there by Pollock. Too right. strong for the for his teammate to receive. All right, this will be the last roll of the dice for San Beda. Never mind the foul trouble. I bring in back Jose Pespitero and Arnold Noah. I mean, again, this is the last roll of the dice. All right, Melesho. Melesho! Big three by Melesho. Big three by Melesho. Wow, this young man, coach, is only an incoming sophomore, and he is showing maturity beyond his years. And we'll talk more about that after this timeout. Stay there. Don't change the channel. You'll miss half your life. One minute, 17 seconds yes. remaining. They have to convert. A botch play will be very critical. It will be very hard to recover from such. Just a two-point basket will be fine. They're only down by three. Still a lot of basketball remaining. 117. Yes, they have to... Uh... Oh, Soberano for three! But he it's deflected. Opted. Yeah, he opted for a three-point shot. But they keep it, though. Bolek. Vespitello. Bounce pass. Soberano! Whoa! AC Soberano struggling all game long and what a time for Soberano to convert. One That's minute left. The 12 deadlock of the ball game. Again, the, the saying, it's not how much you score, it's when you score that counts more. You're right, Anthony, and they scored. Very crucial score there by the San Beda. Three-point shot, a conversion. Now it's a tight ball game with 51 seconds remaining in the ball game. So Melesho will do the inbound honors. Again, no, we've mentioned this young man, only an incoming sophomore, but showing great maturity beyond his years. Melesho. Ask for a clear out, but Mbalo will give you a screen. Karakot, he is, again, another Mbala screen. Mbala rolling, Mbala, no, Mbala losing it. And it's with the Red Lions. And it's a foul by Melesho. I guess Melesho had no choice but to give up the foul in order to stall the uh, charge of San Beda. There's a foul Let's there. See. I think there it is against Ben Mba oh, No, it's against Melesho. Yes, he pushed, he pushed Bolek out of bounds, and that's the third personal foul now on uh, Aljun Melesho, the sophomore guard out of De La Salzobel in Muntinlupa City. Okay. No free throws yet. Very crucial play here for the San Beda Red Lions. And by the way, coach, take note, both these are far from the penalty. Only two team fouls for San Beda, one for La Salle. They have been very stingy with their fouls here in the fourth. Whoa! Oh, 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 Big shot! Big shot there! He has what a shot! What a shot by Bolek! He has become Big shot, Bolek! Players getting too emotional here. Of course, folks. All right, we will hang on to the air for the final 8.5 seconds. No more commercials, all right? We'll hang on to the air. As you can see, the coach Fernandez going all the way to pull Robert Bolick back to their best. We don't want this game to be marred by any unfortunate incidents. Okay, so now, coach, I ask you, LaSalle, they, 
they have the ball. 8.5 seconds. What is on their agenda? Right now, they have no choice. They have to make and convert a three-point shot. Here's that big shot by Bolick. Wow! And look at that. Bolick, after that, he goes on to taunt his the former fans. team. Yes. <laughs> he went to the bench of his former team. And also a few fans. You know, almost got it with a few fans, but luckily, you know, the uh, elders in San Beda were <laughs> able to pull him away to safety. One good stop for San Beda and one good play for the LaSalle Green Archers. Yes. It's a very crucial, a three-point shot. And again, coach, we have to note, San Beda has some fouls to give. Fouls to give Neither, for San Beda. Yes. That goes also for LaSalle. But uh, advantage is in, in San Beda's side right now. With, with only 8.5 remaining and can still they can still give two, th uh, two team fouls. All right, all eyes. The man at the moment, Robert Lee Bolick. Melesho. Expect Melesho to get the ball back. Kalakot. And they foul. foul. They have a foul to give. Good Unfortunate. foul by Presbitero. They have to be careful though. It should not be a shooting foul or a uh, super hard a sportsman like foul. Sportsman like yes. foul. All right. And another timeout called by Coach Alden Ayo. Again, we'll have up there. 6.5 remaining yes. in this finals against San Beda and Lasalle. You know, I don't mind losing my voice after this game. Okay? I don't mind losing my voice. Because at least I know that I lost my voice for a worthy cause of bringing this instant classic to you there in the comforts of your homes. And we're doing this because we love basketball. Right, Coach? <laughs> yes. Especially collegiate basketball. It's going to be very exciting. 6.5 remaining. Oh, boy. If only we could uh, eavesdrop on the... Uh, Powers of yes. both these teams. Of both these teams. San Beda has to make a stop, and the LaSalle Green Archers has to convert a three. Who would win this ball game? You know, if you think about it, you know, Soberano converted his triple with a minute left, and then it, look at that, it, uh, uh, you know, the time went by so fast. Bolick shot him at the eight second mark. So it means both, both teams yeah. doesn't want to lose. That's what's nice about college basketball. You know, 6.5 seconds is a very, very long time. You know, they can even pass the ball around if they want to. All right, step formation at the 15 uh, foot line. It will go to Mbala. Mbala will find the three! Not it's a good shot! shot. Not a good shot by Ben Mbala. Timeout, San Beda, Red Lion. And now, Coach Boyet Fernandez will call a timeout. He wants to make sure, Coach, he wants to make sure that San Beda will take good care of the ball in this possession. Not a good shot by Ben Mbala. He received the ball on top. He, the South Panic at that moment took the shot. And look at the crowd of San Beda rejoicing. Yes. They're the new 1.9 seconds remaining champions of the Philoi Flying V. Of course, let's see how this final 1.9 will unfold. Again, you know, a lot of weird things have happened in the world of Philippine collegiate basketball. You're right, Anthony. Will st still 1.9 seconds remaining. Everybody is standing. They are not using their chairs. Okay. Let's see. Again, also similar stack formation for La Salle at the 15-foot line. It will be uh, Jose Pespitero to do the inbound. And move on! And, and look at Coach Juan Fernandez dancing for joy. Look at Coach Juan Fernandez. Second Veloy Boy Championship. The Sunbelt. Wow. 
San Greta winning this. 75 to 72. Yes. And it took a pair of. What a ball game we've seen. Yes. Two big three point shots. One from AJ Soberano, one from Robert Bolick to seal the deal for the champions, the San Bernardino Red Knights. And they finish the tournament a perfect 11 and 0. That was a big shot there by Bolick. Yes, and look at this. Both teams exchanging pleasantries. And it definitely, is. I'm going to give the best player of the game to Bolick. Yes. And also, I would like to make a request. Please, please burn me a copy of this game so I can have a souvenir when I go home. Please. Of course, look at Bolick. You know, again, talking to his uh, former teammates. And I guess... It looks, like, it looks like Bolik is crying, huh? As uh, the bed on him starts to uh, play. Oh, uh, again, look at this. This is the shot. You know, this is a shot for the ages. Robert Bolik is simply overcome with emotion. Wow. You can, you can probably just second guess what's running through the mind and heart of one Robert Lee Bolik. Of course, after this, after La Salle sings the Alma Mater song, we will have, of course, one of my favorite parts of the tournament, actually my favorite part, the awarding ceremonies. And now it's the turn of the uh, Green Archers to sing the, uh, the La Salle Alma Mater song. And, and look at this, uh, the Bedans, who were former La Salle's, are returning the gesture. We're talking here about Bolick and Marcos Ejercito, who uh, once studied at La Salle Green Hills, and also uh, Kyle Carlos. Yes. And my partner here. Well, actually, I have to uh, sing both. Both Beta yes. and La Salle. I, I'm, I'm singing both songs because I studied <laughs> in both schools. Yes, that's why, uh, you know, I, I, I have to, I have to uh, sing both songs. Yes. Well, actually, I'm singing in my mind because I can't sing on the mic right now. Uh, no credit to La Salle. You know, they said they were given up for dead. You now we thought they wouldn't be making the playoffs, but you know, destiny has uh, has some strange ways. You know, they lost back-to-back games, and La Salle is in the playoffs. Good game on both teams. Congratulations to San Peda and congratulations to the La Salle Green Archers. Yes, both teams played well. It was only up to that last Bolick. Anthony and Coach Vic. Anthony and Coach Vic, kasama ko nga ngayon itong si Robert Bolick ng San Pedro Red Lions. Robbie, congratulations on the championship. 24 points, 8 rebounds. Anong pakiramdam? Um, Jay, hindi ko masabi kasi yung hard work na binigay ko sa laro na to, ibang klase, um, um, Gusto ko eh, bigay sa, sa pamilya ko, sa, sa buong San Beda. Ah, wala akong masabi. Um, thank you sa Diyos. Robert, meron ka bang mga gustong pasalamatan at batiin sa championship na to? Ano, ano? Uh, meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan at mga batiin? So, pasalamat sa Lasal. Siyempre, binigyan nila ako ng magandang laban. Uh, pinaka, isa sa mga pinakamagandang schools. Proud din ako na napunta ako sa school na yun. Um, gusto ko pasalamat sa buong Beda community pumunta dito para mag-support sa amin. Yung coaches, yung teammates ko, sila sumuporta talaga sila sa amin. Sobrang saya sa pamilya ko, 
uh, sa lahat ng mga tunog boys sa uh, Alegria or Mock City. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robert. Congratulations again. And back